Welcome into another uh, edition of uh, Sunday Sermon. Mm. Yes, yeah, it's a Sunday. I'm drink, I'm, it's like a S S Sunday sermon. So I'm drinking wine like they do in the, you know, in the big churches and stuff like that. You know, communion Sunday. Well, it's not communion Sunday because communion Sunday is the first Sunday. Whatever it is, right? But I'm not a Christian anyway. You know, I'm more like Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr. I'm an eclectic pluralist. Before I used to be a deist, but you know, that kind of. But I just like the way Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr. says eclectic. We say, Mr. Nelly, what are you talking about? Yes, Mr. Nelly Fuller. That's what we do on Sunday sermon. We talk about. We, we this is our scripture book. This is our scripture. The uh, United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept Book. That's our scripture. It's a it's a compensatory counter racist code. This happens to be the uh, 2016 edition by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. It's a, a revised, expanded uh, edition of the uh, uh, textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action of uh, for victims of uh, racism, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines as white supremacy. So if you're not a victim, this is not the tome for you okay so uh anyway so every every, every week we read from the from the um from our scripture that's nearly for the junior church's book um, um this is like i said the 2016 edition there's also a word guide and uh there is the original uh 1984 edition uh which um uh well this let me explain this real quick. The 1984 edition is the original. Well, there's a one before that, but we won't get into that right now. And uh, it has this computer thing on the cover, so the they had to they had to repeat it because people said no, we like the original edition, so they had to um, uh, um, re republish it, and uh, in this kind of format. But the original 1984, which I have in Dimbaza, it's a it's a bigger it's a, it's a bigger format, right? And I got it from uh, um, from my brother, uh, Dr. James Conyers, who's, uh, well, Dr. James Conyers, he, he, he saw Mr. Neely Fuller back in the day. Anyway, he bought the book back then. Then he gave the book, he gifted the book to me. And I, uh, being in South Africa, I was in, uh, in Alice at the time. There's a press there called the, uh, uh, the Lovedale Press, which uh, produced all the, uh, most of, a lot of literature for back in the day for, for the ANC and stuff like that. And so I went to them and I rebound the book because it was like a paperback edition. And I, I bound it up in a, you know, a black binder. So I have that in Dimbaza where I preach, where I, where I will where we'll do this Sunday sermon when I get back to Dimbaza. Uh, but we'll do this a special way because that's the, it's a closer area. It's a closer stronghold. So we'll be doing a, a thing where we do, uh, I do it in English and then we have a closer translation right there. Don't worry, you, you, if you're if you're hanging long enough, at least for the next two months, I don't get back to the bars until probably probably March. I don't know, something like that. I mean, I go to South Africa. Um, well, don't worry about that part. Uh, so anyway, but what we do is at the end, the last Sunday of the month, what we do is we we go um, and we go to there's a well in the revised edition, in at the back there's some quotes from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. that he has. And in the uh, other edition, they have uh, they have a, a, a slight word guy and also quotes also. So I'll be reading from that when I get back there. But let's stop talking about that. Let's talk about what we have right now. What I do is I I go to uh, any area. Well, areas in the back. I take a this um, what do you call that? A certain page at a time, and I pick out little quotes that Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has said. Now for this this edition here, I pick pages uh, four thirty seven to four forty three. And they're, they're little, they're little quotes, little quips, if you will. So let me put my reading glasses on so I can see. Yeah. Boy, these, these eyes been reading. Uh, uh, these eyes been reading for uh, many a decades. <laughs> so forgive them if they um, uh, can't do this. Okay, so let's let's say we're gonna start from page uh, the first uh, quip. The first quote from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. They're quotes, I should say. Quote, I shouldn't say quips. Uh, is uh, page four thirty-seven, and uh, they're you know they're, they they see they like they like that. Oh, that that note here, that's me quote about the acolytes of liberation in Dumbaza. That's where I operate out of. That's where we have our, our community house. Uh, the acolytes of liberation have their community house in um, in Dumbaza. It's Lojote Hut House. You'll, you'll find out about it sooner or later. Okay, so here's the first uh, quote. 
Avoid idle conversation. Always try to say something that will produce a constructive result. Now, Mr. Daly Fuller Jr. is heavy on constructive stuff. Amen. So, um, so that's what it's, that's what it says. Avoid idle conversation. I mean, you can. That's like idle conversation, like gossip. It's like, but I guess it's it's water cooler talk. But then again, well, well, let me leave it alone. Let me say what it is. That's what he says right there. Always try to say something that will produce constructive results. Okay, let's go to the next page that I have. See if I've, read it. yeah, I do. On page, uh, that was four thirty-seven. Four, page four thirty-eight. Um, unlike non-white people, only white people apparently can consistently and reliably and reliably produce white people. See, Mr. Lily Fuller Jr. deals with logic, right? And on the next page, I have, uh, I picked out, the basic logical question is not what forms of so-called sexual aggressions should be defended and promoted, but what forms should not be. I'm not gonna keep on with you. That says what it says, right? Let me read, let me read, because I, it may not be clear to people. Here you go. The basic logical question is not what forms of so-called sexual expression should be defended and promoted, but what form should not be defended and promoted. I added that last bit, that last bit to make it clear for you. Okay, next page, that we found a, a quote on that we thought we'd share, share with you this uh, last Sunday of the month. Confusion can lead to despair, and despair can lead to hostility. Hey, from the mind of Miss Neely Fuller Jr., which reminds me, where he transmits every uh, Tuesday uh, from 9 to 11 uh, over the internet. So if you go to producejustice.com, you can you know hear him live every Tuesday. Hey, he's like 93 years old now, so... And he's smart, smart as a whip. In fact, they start off the program usually with uh, the the uh, the from the mind or the thoughts of Miss Neely Fuller Jr. That's like what this is, okay. Okay, so the, the next one I picked out was basically a so-called state is not a place. A state is a person, and a person is a state of being. Let that ruminate and you rattle around in your brain for a bit. Okay. Uh, how many more I have? I said 240. Did I say 243 was the last one? I think we're coming to the end here. Um, to sh uh, another one. To, here we got in quotes, show off is to deliberately attract attention to yourself more than to attract attention to your constructive deeds. See what I'm saying? You put yourself above your deeds. Most people looking at the face of the the face, the the voice, the voce of the okay. Uh I think this let me think this is the last one. Did I say page two forty three? Yeah, this is the last one. What value is it that a person gains the whole world but is confused about the purpose of his or her own gender. Oh, heavy on the gender. This was in two. This was in and again revised with two sixteen. So he he was uh interesting dealing with gender back then because gender is a big thing right now. Hmm. So that's it. Uh, a reading from uh, the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. I'm reading uh, from me T from the Pattersons taking the trains to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.